hey beautiful welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another sunday reset today we're going to start off changing out our towels in the bathrooms and changing out our bed sheets i've noticed ever since i've started doing this religiously it has just done a number for my skin so now every sunday first thing i do after i get ready and get up i just change out the towels immediately so i don't forget and i change out the bed sheets this is just my reminder to you to change those as many times as you can and just thank me later So after I change the sheets and the towels, this has become a ritual for me. I go into all the kids rooms and go ahead and collect all the laundry and tidy up a little bit. I've designated Sundays to my kids laundry. They're still young. They're six, four and two. And it's not as much laundry as my husband and I create, I guess. So it's just easier to just get all of their laundry done in one day. And it just ensures that by Monday, everyone is just ready to go for the week. So I found that this this technique really works for me. So after completing those tasks, it is now time for my kids to go take their naps. And while they're napping is when I get my grocery planning done. It just helps me to think clearer. My kids are so loud and it's harder for me to think. So I normally just take stock of what I have in the fridge, what I have in the pantry. And then I Instacart now. I've literally been converted. I went from loving walking into the grocery store to doing pickup and now you cannot pay me to willingly go shop so now i just instacart everything and it's just perfect because a lot of my orders are saved so that's one of the things i do on sunday it's much easier because i remember the weekends before especially if i was by myself i would have all the kids and i would have to take them to the store or i have to do it during the weekdays and if you're a working mom or work from home mom you know how much not time you have so yeah instacart is my best friend so you saw earlier where i pulled out the ground beef i just pulled it out to de thaw before dinner so i'm just putting the groceries away and instacart came within about an hour or so <laughs> While I waited for the groceries to be delivered, I just folded the clothes that came out of the dryer. Just continued laundry, I would take a load, put in the next load, dry one load, and so on and so forth. <music> kids woke up from their nap i fed them and they're just playing outside i then use that time to meal prep for the week i do not meal prep every single week a lot of times i try to keep it in my head and it's always a fail but i don't know what it is with us moms thinking we have superpowers like that is why i bought this anyway but yeah girl so i, I decided to meal prep this sunday but i needed to clean out this this freezer we have a deep freezer in the garage that I have not been using since we moved, but I need to get back using it. But I needed to tidy up that deep freezer to really be able to meal prep properly because I didn't know what we had frozen. And I could see what we have in our fridge because I don't keep a lot of things in my refrigerator, but I just didn't have an accurate count of what was in the freezer on the bottom. So that helped me and I went ahead and meal prep for the week. <laughs>
Say hello to my Omi lunchboxes. I know one of you guys asked me about this lunchbox. They're the Omi lunchboxes. They keep the kids food warm because of the thermoses they come with and they are very well insulated. So yeah, I have a love-hate relationship with these lunchboxes because there's so many pieces and you can buy extra pieces for them as well. But yeah, I hate to clean them but love like, you know, putting the food in them. I've been trying to give the kids more healthier things to go to school as you saw in my grocery haul. I've just been incorporating more apples, more pretzels, more veggie straws and things like that my kids school sent a nice cute note saying you can't bring chips or nothing like that so i've been how do i say that it's been really making me like step out my box so anyway i just packed the lunches one of you guys one of my supporters told me to pack the lunch the night before and i've been doing that as much as i can it's easier for me to get it done on sundays than it is all the other days because i'd be tired but either way it's been working out on sundays i make sure to pack the lunches for the next day and yeah <laughs> And my youngest goes to daycare he's two i just have to bring him snacks because i pay for his lunch i can pay for my other two's lunch as well my elders too but they don't want school lunch because they say it's nasty so i'm stuck making lunch for them but a hack i've learned is packing their snack my youngest snack for all five days of the week and that saves me time every morning and every night because he kind of always has the same snack so just a hack for you if you needed one <laughs> So tonight I'm just cooking a Korean beef bowl. I actually haven't cooked this in a long time, but I cook it frequently on this channel. My kids love this bowl. It's one of the few things that they will eat that I actually cook. I can cook. They just, they won't eat it. <laughs> okay. So they actually eat this. I don't know if it's the sugar and the soy sauce in this meal, but I'll, I'll try to link it for you below. It's so easy. I think it has like five ingredients and five steps. It's super, super easy. But yeah, it's one of their favorite meals. So I just went ahead and cooked that. And then after that, I tied eat up the kitchen because it is the worst to start off the week with your house dirty girl just basically dirty so you saw earlier when i emptied the dishwasher so then i cleaned the kitchen things are happening in the background hubby's helping the kids are playing things like that so i'm fortunate to have someone else at home helping me but this sunday after i clean up downstairs i'm gonna head upstairs and get me some me time because i need it <laughs> got these shower tablets from Amazon. You just put them in the shower and they dissolve in water to create a scented therapeutic steam and it does just that. Tonight I'm using Clean Logic exfoliating gloves for the St. Bart's shower gel. I saved this shower gel you guys. I most of the time just use the method. I think I have the method in the shower now but this shower gel is for like the special times because it smells so I don't it gives beach to me and I love it so much. <music> After the shower gel, I just go in with the exfoliating St. Bart's body scrub. This is the icing on the cake. I always tell you, if you don't get the shower gel, get the scrub. The lather on this product is amazing and it leaves your body so moisturized. Tonight, I went in for a shave. And after that, the last thing I did was use the L Fragrance Free Daily Care Foaming Wash for my downstairs area and rinsed it all off. After the shower and hydrating my skin, I go ahead and get my skincare done. I'm using the Tatcha products right now. I go in with the cleansing oil and then I go in with the moisturizing rice wash. I love this cleanser so much. It is so thick and moisturizes and lathers really, really well. I use these cotton pads that I remember I told you guys I got from Amazon. You wet it and you can like wipe around your whole face with it. You can rinse your face with it too and wash it off and exfoliate your skin with it. And they're great if you wear lash extensions. 
foundations and i also got these clean skin club towels from amazon as well i know jackie Ina. i had learned about them from her and i tried them out and i really really love them you guys then i'm going in with a face mask y'all i want to tell you i shut the door of this bathroom and i really went in this sunday i needed you guys and i don't do my full nighttime skincare routine like all the time so sundays is like the best day for me to get it done and sometimes i even do it a friday or a saturday night I didn't use that mask for any rhyme or reason. I just needed something to moisturize my skin and the mask I chose did just that. I also went in with the Laneige. I'm still using the Laneige Moisturizing Lip Cream and I did this off camera, but the toner I used was Tatcha as well. And the Dewy Skin Cream Moisturizer was also from Tatcha. I sprayed myself with the Brazilian Cream from Sol de Janeiro and I got ready for bed. So thank you so much for spending this Sunday reset with me. Hopefully it motivated you to get up and get it all done, girl. You'll be so glad on Monday morning. After I did my skincare, I just curled up in bed with a good book. I'm now reading the Akatar series. Is it Akatar? One of them, girl. <laughs> I'm reading that series and I'm really, really loving it again. Thank you so much, you guys. Let's talk in the comments. Bye.